<laughs> that looks really good. Hey friends, how you doing? Guess what? I'm alone tonight. I got home from work and Debbie is working till 7 o'clock so I am batching it till 7 o'clock. And it's, Debbie's always concerned about me having a good meal so it's time to go check to see what I have for supper. And I'm very thankful for it, just so you know. <laughs> that looks really good. Look at what she made me. There's my wonderful supper. Thank you, sweetheart. Hey guys, don't be jealous, but that's what Debbie made me for supper. So nothing goes better with a nice plate of food, heated food, like a nice glass of wine. That was really good. Thank you, sweetheart. It don't take long with me. I'm a very, very fast eater, so. Debbie and I are looking at homesteading. And we're looking at saving cash. I don't believe in putting money in banks anymore. I'm just tired of it. It's so easy to spend when you are um, have money in banks. So I'm not gonna do that anymore. So I go to the bank to take out cash. I'm gonna take out cash for the envelopes for two to three months of expenses. We have it all written out. I go to the bank here in town and guess what? The bank has a $2,000 cash limit on cash. I don't know about you. There is no way. If I want to take out more than $2,000 in cash, I should be able to do it. The gal at the bank told me that if we want to take out more than $2,000, we should call them ahead of time and let them know what it's for. I looked at her and I said, it's my money. Why can't I take out what I want? Oh, she had to talk to her supervisor though first. Maybe we could take out more. Folks, I'm sorry, but it's a bank. You better have more money than that. Well, I told her how much I wanted to take out and she asked me uh, what I needed it for. And I wanted to just say, you see, that's the problem nowadays is the banks own everything. They gotta know what you're doing, where you're spending your money. They don't want us taking cash out. Here's the reason why. Because you're not using your debit card and they're not making 3% on every purchase. The gal asked me if maybe I wanted to have a cashier's check if I'm making a major purchase. Well, obviously, yeah, because they get paid for that when it's cashed. They get a percentage of it. So I told her no, not a big deal. You can just keep it in there, not a problem. That's strictly because I didn't want to tell her that we don't believe in your bank. And she was a nice gal. I mean, she's just working there, but she doesn't realize this is a big corporate bank that we bank at. One that does not give a crap about any of us. All they truly care about is getting their fees. Tucker, you can wait. You can wait. Don't. Okay. You win. He's going to wait. <laughs> he wants to be my daddy. Of course. Anyway, um, 
So I was a little disappointed at that, you know, because we have these cash envelopes and we're doing the Dave Ramsey plan where you take your bills, you put the cash in, you spend the cash for what you got budgeted. And I wanted to go a few months ahead of time and yeah, I don't want to keep a lot of cash in the house, but I figured I had a little bit of savings that I could do that. But obviously now I'm not going to do that because what I'm going to do is in this little town that we live in, everybody's got to know everybody's business. So I'm just going to go in the big town to the bank and take it out there. Anyways, I just think it's terrible that you got to feel guilty about taking your own money out of the bank. It's my money. I'm the one that's saved for it. And I have a budget plan and it doesn't involve the banks. Yeah, it's convenient. But you don't realize it, but you're actually paying because the merchant is paying 3%. 25 to 3% for everything that's purchased to the banks, which means they have to increase their costs 25 to 3%. So for every $100 you spend, you're giving the bank three bucks. Now, oh, is this gonna help you? No, because everybody's using the debit card. It's not gonna help you. You're not gonna save nothing. You're still gonna end up paying if you pay cash. It's the satisfaction knowing that the bank's not getting the 3%. So, I'm taking all my money out of my bank account. Just leaving enough in for my direct deposit for work because I have to have a bank account for that. After that, I'm taking every dime out every week I can. It's not like the banks aren't making enough money. And I gotta let the dogs in because they're all screaming and crying. The problem with society today is society thinks we have to get it now. And the banks and the car companies all convince us we have to get it now. And we can't afford, I mean, cars nowadays, new cars, a decent car nowadays, 25 grand, 25,000. It's not really even decent. You're looking at a crossover, 35, 40,000. A truck, $70,000. It's ridiculous. Actually, it's 55,000 for a, a plain Jane truck with nothing but four wheel drive. It does have power windows, but $55,000 for a vehicle. But the banks will give you 72 months. Lower your payments, make it low. What you don't realize, folks, is that the dealers, when you drive that vehicle off the lot, the dealer is doing backflips and the bank is doing backflips also. So not only are you, if you can afford over six years to pay for a vehicle that's that expensive, which your odds are you're probably gonna trade it in and they'll just roll over your balance. Odds are if you can afford to pay that, look at the interest and look at the money, the profit that you're, you're paying out to these, to the bank and the dealership. Here's the problem, in America we have, to be, we have to be more disciplined. We put ourselves in a position where in the beginning when we're young, we borrow. And so we're forced to borrow again and continue to borrow. It, the borrowing, the interest and the profits don't give you an opportunity to save. That's the problem. We're not disciplined enough to save. If you can save your money, you can live very wealthy on a little income. But when you're paying out all this interest every year for that beautiful, brand new, shiny truck that in three years, you're gonna be ready to replace. If you're willing to spend $1,000 on a cell phone, on a phone, $1,000, $500 on a phone, a cell phone, because because you need it, because you need it. Sorry folks, not in my book. So to sum things up, I'm gonna become more disciplined. I'm gonna become more un-American 
because I'm not doing what the mainstream is going to be doing. I'm going to save my money, okay, and I'm going to get out of debt, and I'm going to pay cash for everything. And the banks can kiss my... Unfortunately, it took me 40 years or 30 years to realize this. 30 years. I'm going to live this simple life. And you can live it too. Thanks for watching. If you keep watching, we'll keep putting them up. From me to you, from Deb to you, and from the docs to you. Have a great day. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.